Welcome to the Ellen Johnson Salif uh, Interministerial Complex, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Liberia is right here in attendance at this youth empowerment program at risk of youth. And, uh, he will be watching alongside Speed on uh, activities on this small The overview of the program, as you can see. Of data 
between the male and female, we have a two percent male and eighty percent female. And the next pie chart shows the distribution across all singles in the four response counties, where the LP are the highest, followed by action against drug abuse, mother of women rescue daughters, and mother of life. Let's start. With support from the PHO, Tina Dalam, protocols and tools for softening use disorder management was developed, as well as TOR for the program management unit among others. About 150 professional service providers consist of mental health clinicians, social workers, and many other clubs. And this one is our train in something use this other management in the respond county as well as the preparation county. So the four county one to one might be very fast and for me. I the response county while the very county were in preparation phase. One month and five prevention, treatment, and recovery education professionals were trained at the colonial plan job and battle program. And this month, four further those that will be qualified to take the international exam will have the opportunity to do that and then be credentialed. Commitment on some service providers. There are eight service providers, we have service providers that were so committed to this program in the absence of funding. And we would like to appreciate you. Once they appreciate the Lutheran Church in our in the Reconciliation Program, the action against drug abuse, women rescue workers, non communist association, women and children development association of Liberia, standard grants initiated, who are known as the mother of life, and our own institution, play at the Father of Vocational Training Center. We have, we don't know how to say, but you did extremely well. In the absence of funding, all other circumstances around the transition, you stood at us. And today we are here to celebrate 170 clients across four counties. We were able to complete this notification for 400 for the five clients. And 269 involved in the rehabilitation. A total of 178, 66.2%, out of this 269, completed six months of stay in rehabilitation. 157, 90% of 175 that completed. The extra unit George Queen test was 123 our negative and then 34 were positive. So there we have 127 adverse youth, including four children who are ready to be transitioned from rehabilitation to recovery. We are going to. Let's start this. There are so many challenges along the way. Limited funding by the government. The, re the reality is to treat people with something you discover is very expensive. You need money to treat those people, to rehabilitate them, and it includes.
one day and be so we have the station. And the, the first month when they were repeated, they had that mindset and it was so difficult at the point in the So just take away that money from them. Because they thought that the government gave us money and we could not get them that money. So there is a need for us to really educate the public. For this time I push, they have to jump out and run away. Because of this program, we don't force people into rehabilitation. When you are dealing with people with substance use disorder, you don't force them to go for treatment. They have to go for interim and push. And what the men, those who, when they are voluntary, they tend to stay in the program, and that goes to death, we are coherent or influence our family members or relatives. And I brought the closure of some rehearsals of others, therefore, jump out. It was in December, two of our rehearsals of others, two of others, they were closing our centers. And it left us with a challenge to transfer clients from one center to another. And because of that, they were demotivated and left the program. On the second day of the government transition, it was not easy. Because of the transition time, I basically felt overwhelmed. Some of them were like, they don't know whether the program continues, they don't know the state of the program, and they left. Since I left in there alone, I very little of me is essential, as I said, to sustain the program morale and momentum. It was so part in November to go back onto recruitment because there was no money. So I guess we were equal to be rehabilitated. When they went to the center to be repeated, we told them that we were not repeating and they were so downhearted. So as we as we were on the program, we hope that next time we'll be able to intervene so that these people can be rehabilitated. And more awareness on social media communication. Also need to be in place. For instance, improvement in the program was key for retention. As I said, those who enter the program on a voluntary basis tend to stay in the program, unless those who were convinced by family members or friends. And the definition of terms and conditions, including duration of time, stay at each we have facility will be very important in moving forward. So, because some we have at the at the beginning, they did not tell us that they could have facility to increase more spirit. And that led to a high of our rate. Let's start. The government of Nigeria should provide support to scale up this program to the remaining 11 counties. Monrovia is not a bureau, neither Bomi Mike Ibi. There should be strategies to facilitate the mobilization of additional resources to holistically finance the program. Government cannot go off with international partners and just on the other thing you can also help. That government in this case has focused in synthesization and awareness, including SDCC activities. On the management of SDC and cross state counties. For only in the institutional lab, we have the station center. We have the YAPC, KABTC, and LRC. We need them to be reformed so that we can use them with service provider also. We need to establish and transform star base as a national detox center. Let's start. Something you can call management is important because it helps to reduce the use of narcotic drugs and support topic substances among young people and children. But there is a need to intensify efforts to address the issue around supply control. Government needs to take full ownership in order to control this drug crisis that is causing a serious threat. To our national security. The adjustment program needs to be fully supported 
and sustain through a joint effort of government, UN, CSO, philanthropists, communities, farmers, and others. Thank you. That's the overview of the program right here. So I told you the at risk the youth empowerment program taking place right here with His Excellency the President. Please put your together as President in attendance. That's right. And thank you. Please put your together for that dinner for that beautiful presentation. And the program will continue. Before we call on the, before we introduce our guests. I'd like to call on Senator Tabla Babla Tome Arima. Please put your hands together and welcome our Senator. Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. Minister, our UN resident coordinator. Minister of Justice and Representative of the Ministry of Health, advisors to the President, the UN family, partners to this great program, parents of our graduates, our young people, the people that this country depend on, ladies and gentlemen. I want to firstly say thank you to His Excellency President Joseph Yumabuakai for his demonstrated commitment to rescuing Liberia. <laughs> By intentionally targeting the young people who he will tomorrow leave this country with. back, we were all concerned as national leaders as to where our country is headed, given the increasing number of young people that were considered at risk. The number here today may be small, but I think it is a great first step for which I appreciate the government and the partners for the effort. <laughs> to those of you who are working out of this program, I want to say thank you firstly for the courage amidst the challenges to agree to enroll into the program. As you are leaving today, let me remind you that you are even more challenged. Because all around you, you will find some of your peers who think your decision wasn't right. But guess what? It is an opportunity for you to lead others to join you. Because like I mentioned, the future of this country depends on you. And you will not contribute unless you are able to realize your full potential, which you cannot find in a yet. So I want to urge you to remain focused, to work with the partners, with the Ministry of Defense Home, and all of the other service providers that have been working with you as you join in on. As previous speakers mentioned, you are our ambassador to a new Liberia. So keep focus, remain steadfast, and continue the journey out of at risk. Thank you. All right, and, uh, thank you, Mr. Senator, for that encouraging 
Amen. It's time to dramatize. It's time to dramatize. So at this time, we we'll call the array Adam to do a drama for us. Please put your hands together to work on them. The drama will be done by the beneficiaries themselves. You can do it. You can do it right And so, uh, do it for the person. I see you dramatize. Master of Ceremonies there. B40. Oh, I don't wish I wish you, Ada, Ada. I don't know what you're going to get there now. Ah, my dear boy. Do you mean you can't hear me like this? You would just know me, sir. Let me go to Hama and go again. I think, but I am coming on. Hama is on. You have a new program. The program about I wish you. Don't think I'm kidding you, bro. No, no, you're not doing what you're doing. 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 You're not doing I get over to a you want me to My man, you are the man. You are You are the man. 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 You You are the man. 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 You are You are the man. You are I think my girl, you went like you were killing me. You were killing not say show that you were killing So you know what I mean? Don't listen to me. That could be putting a brainstorm in a pre. That could be the best of all you can. All right. Now, you see, together, together, you can say no to us. Beautiful performance here. That is a young fix. You got a thumbs up in the middle, please. Go back to Thank you. Podium. Thank you so much for that beautiful drama. At this time, we will listen to testimonies. And I want you to listen carefully. And so we will call on Gete K. Gay from We Rescue Daughters and Terry Potter from Mother of Life. I mean, from Mother of Life, we hear testimony. What you together for them as they come? Testimony for some as you will hear and show the lives of these kids out there in the game. But yes, this is uh, the Executive Mansion online platform. And we're coming to you live from the grounds of the Ellen Johnson Sorry. My name is Jeffrey Complex. On behalf of my grandfather, Joseph Nima Guava, Youth and Sports, Ministry of General, Moral Rescue Total, I also want to say thank to you. Our small account the street, I started smoking, doing prostitution, I was supposed to do. Very emotional. It's very emotional. If you look at the expression and the body language of this kid, it's very, very emotional. I also want to say thank to you. I also want to. I also want to appreciate my father, Edmund Johnson. If it's not because of you today, then I did a job. For what I'm feeling, I'm not saying I'm dead. I also want to say thank to you. I got nothing to give, but I'm going to say thanks. Very emotional if you look at the age, the size, the body language, and these are the younger folks of this country, uh, the future leaders, 
being transformed, being rehabilitated, being pulled out of the ghettos. And I'm sure more testimonies will come. As I told you, it's very emotional. And she will retire. As we go back. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the race you, we want to say a very big thank you to the government of Liberia and all of its collaborative partners. His Excellency Joseph Newman Bagai, President of the Republic of Liberia, and the valuable support the world stars did not just create a successful event, but made a significant cause to our part. My name is Terry Rebel, a graduate of the St. Mary Catholic High School, 2005-2006, a college job house that I married for the technical sophomore level, majoring in drafting and minor in public administration. I started to new jobs at age 12, and my first job was opium. I did opium for just one year and later jumped to tap. At this time, I was neglected by my family and loved ones. I did not realize the effect that drugs had already caused me. At one point in time in the ghetto, a Nigerian man named Koko introduced me to another drug called Koko or Rap. When I started to use rap, the street became my only friend, killing and armed robbery with my only companion. After a few months, we set up an armed robbery game comprising of four members and supported by a move who used to give us harm and drugs. But a few months after, I was arrested and sent to the Mahara Central Prison for a period of one year, six months. While in prison, my father died to high blood pressure because of what I caused him. May I so rest in peace that I love you. And up to present, I can look at his grave. My mom left the city because of depression. My girlfriend took away our two kids due to lack of support and disgrace that I brought to her and her family. The whereabout of these two kids is one of my greatest struggles. On November 12, 2018, two members of our gang were killed on the whole road to by my gate in exchange of fire with the Liberian National Police. After this incident, I decided to quit the game of robbery. But my friend said to me, you have lost your father. I don't know the way the battle of your children. Why can't you keep your fingers on the trickles and get some money that will bring happiness to you instead of thinking on your father that is there and your children that you don't know the way about. And my response was, money and jobs and gun can give me the happiness that my family so please give me some time to think about this. In my despise, I met Councillor Mali G. Feka of Mother of Life. She's commonly called Mary Bro. Who, 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 who came to share food and medication to Irish youth in the ghetto of Nyugu Town and asked for my name and said, you have a life worth fighting for. Take my number and come at my office home and door where I started my prevention program. While on prevention, I became a friend of others that did my harming because of things I did. Because of things I did in my past. My fear led me again to the office of home and law requesting rehabilitation. I wish them the government had just launched the Arrange Youth Program to the Ministry of Youth and Schools and the Ministry of Health. Here I am today, free of drugs, but recovery is a lifetime journey. Mr. President, please continue your support. Without your support, our nation will perish. Mama, I promise all we have.
More testimonies, I'm sure, will be coming. But it looks like the president will be introduced. It looks like the president will be introduced next to give special remarks. Let's go back to the podium and see what pops up. Right, the introduction of the president. The Minister of Justice, Councillor Oswald, and Twain, Senator Tabar Fabla, Senator Kevin County, and Chair on Health, esteemed representative of various partner institutions present. Honorable guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this time, may I present to you His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Liberia, Joseph Almanbar Garcia, who will be a special moment. Please get back. His Excellency positions himself at the podium and he will certainly uh, be very upbeat as he will address this uh, Thanks. Uh, <coughs> good evening, dear. I'm sorry to have your seats. Let me recognize the members of the High Chamber, including the uh, uh, Minister of Defense Board, Justice, Senator, Representative of the Minister of Health, Mr. Corner, uh, our Rescue Queen, and uh, the Bishop, dignitaries, mothers, members of the full estate. Our youth, especially you, I want to thank you all for coming here. <laughs> Maybe you don't understand how much joy it brings to our heart's experience because each and every one of you here, when you are introduced to this life, your parents were happy. You brought them joy. They wanted the best for you, even if they couldn't afford it. They have seen that somewhere down the line, something went wrong. They grieved them. And they grieve us as a nation. Because if you listen to the story of the pride of son, your coming back means a lot to us. Because we can lose all of the resources of the country, the gold, the diamond, the thing, but there will be nothing compared to the loss of our youth of this nation. <laughs> so I want to thank you all for this program. I want to recognize the members of the legislature if they are here. As I say, our minister of youth and sport, the one you and nation family, our partners and other institutions, officials of the Ministry of Health, gender, children and social protection, members of the cabinet here at present. The representative of the government partners, our youth of Iberia, the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I can only say today, to God be the glory. For yet another day, when we are set to record 
success in our endeavor to reposition our country and people, especially our youth. We are here to meet and inspire our partnership people who are ready to help us live this country onto a new nobler platform. And so doing, I remind all of you to welcome people not merely based on the merit of their capacity, but more importantly, on ability, motivation, willingness, and the character they have to prepare them to answer calls of nation building, community development, and family enrichment. In the pursuit of these noble ends, we found it imperative to highlight drugs and substance abuse as a key priority intervention for the rescue mission for the first 100 days. On our 100 days delivery room, we have this plan on an objective four, where we set ourselves to the task of one, making the issue of illicit drug and substance abuse a national emergency. <laughs> enhancing the existing program and creating additional programs that remove disadvantaged youth and drug addicts from the streets. Three, rehabilitating, refurbishing, and providing drugs, not providing drugs, not illicit drugs this time, providing drug, medical drugs to hospital, mental health hospitals and clinics for ensuring that rehabilitated you receive income generating skills and that we integrate in our society. <clears throat> my dear graduates, I cannot but do of my heart to you by your conscious decision to alter the path you are on in search of a change in life for good. I see you as heroes of your time and circumstance. We salute your courage, celebrate the boldness of your positive thoughts. You did not only choose to escape from the fetters of induced addiction, you took advantage of the opportunity to reclaim your future, reclaiming your future. <laughs> Thank you for making the choice to make. You deserve to be celebrated. Congratulations. I offer to be here in your midst personally today because we went to a new program for a long funeral service of our late associate justice. I had to come back after four hours of sitting, we had to come back to come here. And it's because I valued the resolve and seek to partner with you in a certain and it's a great opportunity that will make your life meaningful and fulfilling. Looking deep into your faces, I see presidents in this country. I see Indian rights. I see powers. I see ministers. I see representatives in you. Thank you.
You are the great women and men of Liberia in waiting. You made the right choice, and the choice each of you have made has given us a platform to help you to get better. Because it is the right choice to reclaim the future, it is the right choice to seek for better livelihood and professional skills, it is the right choice to prepare for and seek a job and start profitable business. It is a good thing to start a family and create space to serve your community and your country. That's the choice you have made. This is what I call humanity. This is the purpose of compulsion and a call to duty. Give our people the opportunity to make the right choice. I say to all of us here, these young people are here because they each made the right choice. I should hand for the children then, all that we send to the bound to help them realize the dividends of their good reason. This is why I am here today. Our arrest agenda is all about you. Good folks, irrespective of the status in life, you young people are the life wire of our country and our most reliable potential for nation building. This is why I want to put on notice the dealers and drugs who have taken an unsavory career in tempering with and polluting the vulnerable minds of our youth and children that they help us to contend with. <laughs> and as they persist in the nation-breaking venture of destroying our youth, which amounts to tampering with the future and the destiny of our nation, will equal the, their challenge by leaving no stone unturned in making life miserable for them <laughs> And so, we can say without hesitation that this is war. <laughs> Let the drug laws understand that they are in the same skin as heartless criminals committing crimes against humanity by this disseminating. This, this the future of our nation, future generation. I say loud and clear, therefore, that we assure them that from this moment on, they should expect us to fight them with every legal truth and means available to us. <laughs> we must be seen as enemies of our people of our nation who deserve no place in this nation yeah, will Lord. let them have no rest. No rest. <laughs> I finally appreciate the government distinguished guest on the flip side of the score to drug abuse. We cannot let our guard down. While we fight the supply side, we vow to pay no less attention to the demand side. Mm -hmm. We will invest in both rescuing the victims and supporting moves that go to reducing drug demand. We will spare no resources in our endeavor to confront the enemies and reclaim 
our youth at risk. This is the reason we have set ourselves to fight corruption, that those monies can be used to improve the condition and the quality of our youth. In furtherance of our deliverable objective four, we plan to sharply engage in the national legislature and their stakeholders to facilitate a campaign of mobilization against drug and substance abuse in Nigeria. We will lift and run with this program, doing it with commitment to its objective, modalities and strategies and aim at getting it right. Even so, we will rally support for it locally, internationally, collectively, we have to make it happen. So my dear graduates, the government of Liberia is here to prove you right, considering the proud decision you made to go through this positive change. I here to declare you pioneer beneficiaries. You are the pioneer beneficiary of Liberia from the ground. Front man, patriots on the war against drug laws. I are there to make the right choice. You are ambassadors of the rescue mission from today. Joins and ghettos in Monrovia and out of Monrovia, you are going to work with us. Our show is intended to reach out to your friends, our daughters, and sons, so as to strengthen them to build the courage to follow your steps. I want to encourage them to join this new community of you that you have just created today. Indeed, in our midst of the community of Reclaim You, and thank you for your leadership. Sincerely speaking, this is why I sought the opportunity to serve my country and my people as the president of this church republic. It is heartwarming to meet people like you, many of you, my fellow citizens and compatriots, are unmoved in one direction or another, but without that genuine help, you are left without what it takes push you out. So let me reiterate our uh, emergency intervention to this campaign against drugs and substance abuse on the strength and the courage and the current at risk youth program born out of the government of Liberia and the UN joint concept note. This will not be limited to 100 days after which we then roll back to the status quo anti. God forbid. I recognize that so much has gone into this. I want to assure the UN and our development partners that we shall not be wasteful and unmindful of the resources innovation and the sacrifice you have made. We will strive to remain to be a responsible government. Before I close, let me 
a firm ear that I always to the John Sharon community. And today I met a new friend, a young lady out there who is coordinating the program management of race to youth based and supported private service providers to say thank you. Now, when with these young people and the Lord has shown them, I give them this privilege. You have done a very good job. We stand grateful to you as we urge you unto even raw terrain to rescue our precious young people. Let me leave with you the prayers that I see so frequently. That my presence will not be at about rescue and advancement of every second of our population. From this day, I want you to go forward with a commitment on your path to always think about you, love that you, and to care. A genuine prize. We must know and we will announce the prize because we want for you to rescue everyone. This country is small and we need every one of you. I saw the little girls turning here. I'm very proud of all. She made a mistake, and we are here willing to work with her to correct the mistake. As a matter of fact, in preparation for the number that we have here, I have here some container load of items. I don't know what's in there, but I have come back. We have to find another way, other way that they are choosing there. They are t-shirt or brand new that we can find a way just for this pioneer group will make the arrangement because I can't get any shoes without knowing the other size. <laughs> but we will arrange and we'll find a better way with a coordinator. You will go there, you will be the first to be from those things. Thank you. God bless you. And the voice of his excellency the president. Speaking here at this uh, important program, right here at the Ellen Johnson City uh, Interministerial Complex. Thank you, Mr. President. It's on this beautiful day, on Wednesday. And now, incorporating, we will go back to the rescue team. Thank you so much. We'll go back to the mission podium. Thank you so much. Where P40 country is the master ceremony. At this time, we will now call the Minister of Human Sports for the presentation of certificate. Minister of Youth and Sports, Ko Bangalore, will do the presentation of certificates. Yeah, we right here. And you're viewing on the Executive Mansion online platform, uh, right here on the grounds of uh, the Interministerial Complex. Uh, this youth empowerment program as the at risk youth empowerment program and our online team uh, Madam Kula Fofana the 
presidential press secretary. So, uh, we were doing 10 10. We got the first 10. And the excellency will present the certificate to the 10. And then from there, we call the second 10. And we call the UN resident coordinator to the second 10. And just like that. So, please. It won't be in order of the program or in order of the certificate before this. So when I call you, please come off stage. And Your Excellency, please be invited to present the first ten certificates. Matthew Jamia. Yes, excellent. Matthew. For move. Matthew. To the. Please come. Our first honoree goes up oh, okay. a young and enterprising gentleman. He receives the certificate. Excellency. Paul will be followed by James Masakoy. We have to give that way, please. We have to give that way. Please clap for our people, And the graduates will move up from this. this. James. And receive a certificate. Please, the next honor removes up. Thomas Wolape. Thomas Wolape. Okay, he's coming. The first, the first ten recipients. I'm looking for Thomas Wolapu. I've been certificated by His Excellency the President. Thomas Wolapu, are you? Wolapu. Hey, Ben, Johnny. Hey, Ben, Johnny, please clap for him. Right. And the program is a rehabilitation an empowerment program for at risk youth. Get you get all your hair out. Get all your hair out. Yeah. Are you always in the beginning? Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. hey. Yeah. Put that in there. And uh, the next person will receive. Two more for the president, David Yama. David Yama. Adrian Yama. And Stephen Benson. Stephen A. Benson. Stephen Allen Benson, Daniel B. Warner, James Springsteen, and I think these kids, no wonder why His Excellency sees uh, presidency in the eyes of these folks, pilots, and let's just lift off. Stephen Allen Benson, one of the presidents. And the president will retire. Madam Christine Omotoli, Your Excellency Christine Omotoli, the UN President Coordinator will present the next batch. And the coordinator, the UN Coordinator. It is Gold, Gold, D. Gold, Bidja. The next batch. The God Bennett will be followed by Randall Gowen. The God Bennett will be followed by Randall Gowen. 
next batch of uh, one more down here. And the UN. Brother Gao will be followed by S. Gwangwe Yelu. The UN representative. Does the uh, second batch of presentation. S. Gwangwe Yelu.
Do I know where this is coming? And Elijah will be followed by Emmanuel Smith. Please clap for Emmanuel. Emmanuel Smith. Emmanuel Smith is coming. Emmanuel, please come. And following Emmanuel will be Collins A. Willard. Please clap for Collins. Collins A. Willard. Father Brisco, Mother Smith is now on stage, and Collins will we come. And after Collins will is Mamuya Koba, clap for Mamuya. Mamuya Koba. Bamuya is coming, right? Bamuya will be followed by Melvin Lick. Yeah, Bamuya and Melvin come quickly. Melvin Lick. Emmanuel Howell. Be coming. Bamuya. Melvin Lee. Emmanuel Hawaii. Pick up my mother. And Emmanuel Kana. Emmanuel O Kana. Emmanuel Kana is coming, right? After the Mama Kana family for the Senator will be Rudolph Zah. Come for Rudolph. Rudolph coming. Rudolph will be the last person for the Senator. And from there we'll call on the Honorable Minister of Justice. Presented that badge after the senator. Minister of Justice, Oswald Nano Tue. And Samuel Fakoli, Senator Tengi. Yes. Samuel Fakoli, please yes. come, followed by Momo Ye. Attorney General. Samuel Fakoli, the Attorney General of the Republic of Liberia. Followed by Momo Ye. Justice Minister. Clap for Samuel Fakoli. And Momo Ye. Momo Ye will be followed by Snorty Mo. Snorty Mo. Will be followed by Master Striker. Snorty Mo. Followed by Margaret Striker. Snorty Mo. Margaret Striker. And Prince Boto. Prince Boto is Margaret Striker. Prince Boto, please come. Please clap for Prince Boto. Please go to the follow by Philip Jinla. Philip Jinla. Philip Jinla. Can we follow by George Collins? Philip Jinla. George Collins. Philip Jinla. Can we follow by George Collins quickly? We clap by George Collins. George Bunny will be followed by Anwar Coffee. Anwar Coffee. 
Is that what you Let's go, buddy. I'm not talking, you know me? Please clap for Anna. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here, please come. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. Ali, Kamara, Ali, please stop coming. Please clap for Ali. Ali Kamara will be followed by Dyson Reeves. And Dyson is the last for the minister. Dyson Reeves, please come. Where is Dyson? Oh, Dyson, come. Dyson, please hurry up. Please come for Dyson. Why the Senior political advisor to the president, Madame Madela. Koba so will be coming after the Justice Minister to present back. Maurice Suare, Maurice A. Suare, please come. Koba, please come. Thank you so much. Madame Koba, please come. Madame Madela. Please come, Madame Koba. Koba. Senior president. Maurice A. Suare will be followed by Jim. Advice. James Sesco to the President. James Sesco. Kopo will make the first presentation. James Sesco will be followed by Genesis B. Freeman. Right. Genesis Freeman. No, we got my Genesis, man. Genesis will be followed by Andrew Bryant. Andrew Brown. Andrew Brown will be followed by James Yangby. Andrew Brown will come first and then you clap for James Yangby. Andrew Brown first, then James Yangby. James Yangby. Jim Yang will be followed by Emmanuel B. Clinton. At risk, youth. Jim Yang Emmanuel Clinton, please come. Following a big clap for Emmanuel Clinton. Jim Yang will be followed by Siafa L. Roger. And recovery. Siafa L. Roger is Emmanuel B. Clinton. Please come on. Followed by Siafa L. Roger. They are receiving the certificates. I have to. Training. And if you're viewing from wherever, we'd like to welcome you once again. Let's keep it right there. Afaka will be followed by Morris Pola. Morris there. Morris Scott. And Morris Pola. Morris Pola is the last. From there we'll call the UNSP here to please come and do the presentation. Please give our hand. Here is Morris Pola. We have the UNSP move up to the uh, front arena. She will do the presentation of the next Thank you. Well, 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 well. batch of certificates. I'm a freeman. 
I'm off from home. Can we talk about King Walker? I'm off from home. Can we talk about King Walker? I'm off from home. Click that for him. James Walker and James Walker will be followed by Louis Gaga. <laughs> Louis Gaga will be followed by Jefferson Clark. <laughs> Jefferson Clark. Please clap for Jefferson. Jefferson is followed by James Davis. James Davis. This is Jefferson Clark. James Davis. Delano King. will be followed by Winston Tata. Winston Tata. The Lago King will be followed by Winston Tata. Winston Tata will be followed by James Tata. James Tata. Will be followed by D. Van Winners. <laughs> D. Van Winners will be followed by Jinx. Is Jinx not up? Oh, you got no, you could not go here. Abu Jay. Abuche will be the last for the UNFPA head and we'll call it WHO head. Why are we going to do the head here? Now we're back to my football. Right, WHO representative, Mr. Hurt, will be making his way as well to the front burner. Thank you, my man. Jesse Cabo. Jesse Cabo will be followed by Arthur Smith. So far, all male, all male so far recipients, but uh, the females are here as well. Imara Buka. Imara Buka will be followed by Lawrence Stark. Lawrence Stark. Lawrence Stark will be followed by Ina Wafe. Enoch Buffer is coming. Well God, give me a hand, man. Call you Walker? Is Call you Walker yet? Oh, Kofi! Kofi Walker, sorry. Kofi Walker will be followed by John Walker. John Walker will be followed by Jerome Fah. 
she's awesome. Quite amazing. Maybe Kumar moves up.
and father for the bishop will be Larry Guy of Gibbs. Larry here. As a father member for the bishop, why would we invite the head of UN women? All right, the head of UN women. Head of UN women. The Brian Powell and the Bishop. The Brian Powell. The Bishop retires. The Brian Powell. That will be for my parents, D. Rock.
Harris. Oh, 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 Harris. The Minister of Health and Marie Davis. It's a long list.